What's up, guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build It video, and this one is going to be kind of a part three to the calm tips video that I've been putting up. But it's also going to cover the advice that you guys are being given by other YouTubers or things on the internet. I've been doing a little bit of um, research myself and just kind of seeing, you know, what what other people are telling you guys, because I've had some club members of mine bring up um, some of the the more popular YouTubers. And some of the advice, or <laughs> a majority of the advice that they're giving you guys is either completely false or just terrible advice. If you've seen my videos, you know why this is the case. And you probably heard their video and went, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. And this is why. But I'm going to go ahead and just briefly cover why um, the advice that they're giving you is wrong. I don't, I mean, I'm trying not to like call them out and slander their name or, you know, diss on them or anything. But it, it is, it's bad advice. Um, For example, and I'm not going to read these 100% out to you guys. You guys can do that if you feel free. But I am going to briefly cover it. This one, the person says that, um, and this was updated, I would like to add that, that this was updated on August 4th, 2019. They're basically asking, they're basically telling you which assignments to avoid and which assignments to, to do. Now here they tell you that um, you should start with your biggest assignment. Yes, that's always the case. That's great advice. However, then they go on to tell you that here. Time insensitive assignments always ignore assignments that take more time to complete than necessary for the same plum bob value. For example, regionals, you'll be presented with a task like earn lime simoleons for 1700. Now, yes, the regional task assignments, they are more difficult. And that is why I advise that you don't unlock your regional maps. If you have already unlocked them, you know, these assignments suck. Um, they are not they're not undoable, but you are going to need either regional items to sell to get that currency, you know, sell them to the people, the bubbles that pop up, buy the piggy banks, do the shipments, do home upgrades, that kind of stuff. Those assignments are terrible, so they are correct on that. However, they go on to tell you guys that you guys shouldn't be doing production tasks of garden chairs, hats, beef, trees, fruit, flower bags, and mowers. That's not true at all, okay? Um, flour is actually one of the most, or if not the most profitable item in the game, besides obviously, you know, metal and nails, which we've already discussed that in my earlier videos. Now, this one is where it kind of really annoyed me is when they told you guys that the gold key assignments are never worth your time. That pisses me off because that's not true. Okay. Um, it says you're typically asked to earn three to four gold keys within one day and 12 hours. It's certainly possible, but highly improbable. There are only three ways to earn coins, completing shipments, receiving a gift from a city, and watching a video and winning a key from a box. That's not true. You can get the um, items, launch the disasters, and that is going to be how you get the majority of your keys for that task. You also have keys that in your mayor's pass that you can collect. Now, five assignments you should always choose. Highest point assignment, yes, but then they say, as explained above, the biggest assignment in your list is always the most important. Choose this one, and if you can't complete it or don't want to, just cancel it. You'll be given a replacement assignment that is very close to the same amount of plumb bub points. Yes, that is true. Now, some people will ask, you know, why would I start and cancel a 3,000 point, or sorry, a 2,200 point assignment versus doing an 800 point assignment because at least I'm getting that 800 points. No. That's not how it works. Now, normally, yeah, you would think that, but the game is not going to give you a 3,000 point assignment in replacement of that 800 point assignment. So if you're doing low assignments, you're gonna get low assignments in return. You're better off starting and canceling a high point assignment than you are doing a low point assignment. Now, So 
simoleons tasks. Here's the, here they tell you don't build or upgrade homes as a way to earn simoleons. Save that work for upgrade assignments. Yes, that's true. Don't empty out your storage just for this type of assignment. You know, yeah, that's probably true too. And don't sell your expansion items. Yeah, you never want to sell your expansion items. However, they go on to say that the type of assignment is very easy and the three most effective ways to earn simoleons, this is not true, is sell the items you've produced in a raw material production assignment. This is the most straightforward and logical way. Uh, no, it's not. Selling would it's not the most straightforward and logical way to and most effective way to complete this assignment technically collecting uncollected taxes and leaving uncollected money in your depot and uncollected rewards on the mayor's pass would be the most effective way so that go they go on to say that you should visit 25 to 30 cities and sell all the gifts that seems pretty time consuming you can also do a paper chase where you have a club member purchase items, sell them back to you, and then you both have that money sitting there in your depot. So you kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Upgrade assignments. This is one of the easiest assignment types and you should always choose them. Uh, no, wrong, that's not true. If you've watched my videos, you know why that's not true. Because if you upgrade all them houses, you're gonna be having a higher level, which means the competition in comm is going to increase. The amount of items, the variety of items that you have unlocked is going to increase. The shipments, the epics, the home upgrades, just every aspect of your game, the difficulty level is going to skyrocket, okay? You need to camp at low level for as long as you can to get those storage, you know, to get your storage built up, the competition in for level 18 players is going to be very minimal compared to the competition for a, you know, level 55 player. Now, launching disasters and repairing. These assignment types are valuable, but not for everyone. If you regularly collect the U items, you can first launch a disaster to earn plumb bob points and then repair it for more, more points. You'll certainly... You'll almost certainly be given a repair assignment after a disaster launch assignment, unless you have one already in your list. The rule of thumb is to never accept a repair assignment that requires that you launch a disaster first. You'll waste valuable VU items that way. Instead, if you're given a repair assignment without accompanying a disaster launch, either wait until you receive one, accept it, cancel it, immediately for a replacement assignment. I don't agree with this. If you have a launch two for 2000 and a repair five for 2400, most people would think that you would do the launch two and then the repair five. I disagree. I think you should be doing the repair five to get that extra 400 points and have a, an assignment pop up of similar value. And you may never even, you may not even ever have to touch that launch to and if you do then so be it but right now you could be earning that extra 400 points and so on depending on what pops up i've had this happen countless times or i get a higher point assignment by not doing that now that pretty much covers that as far as this website goes however um there was a video on youtube that i watched briefly this morning and the person goes in to say that um and I made a list of stuff wherever my damn list went. Stuck here. Okay. So they go in to say that uh, you should be paying attention to the leaderboard and making an impression on the leaderboards by getting those assignments done very quickly. I completely disagree with this. Now, yes, you want to get these assignments done at a timely manner. Okay. If you're in a low level, uh, lower league, it's not, time is not that crucial for you. If you're anything above level, um, above the, I believe it's suburban. Let's see here. Okay. The first about three leagues, they're not too hard to get those assignments done on a timely manner. The last two, yes, time is, is more of the essence. But here's the thing. If what this person was saying was that she had a assignment to collect 
Omega coins, an assignment to collect simoleons coins. In her video, it shows a upgrade three Paris homes for 3000. She ignores that and she does the the Neo Simoleons and the Simoleons challenge, which were half of the, the point value because she wanted to make, she wanted to get them done quickly and she wanted to make an impression on the leaderboard. Don't do that, okay? Slow and steady wins the race, so to speak. If I've had a lot of times where people have, um, People have been in my club and they are racing to get done and it's like the second day of calm and they've got 60,000 points and everybody in the club's like, like in awe, like, wow, dude, you, you're kicking ass. You know what I mean? And then it's like, yeah, um, they're hurting themselves right now, though, because they're going too quick. They're getting they're 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 picking a 1100 point assignment over a 3000 point assignment simply just to put them up on the board faster. Don't do that. Um, you are going to want to keep track, of course, of how other players are doing in your league because there are hackers. If you notice that Calm has only been going for a couple hours and the person has like 80,000 plumb bob points, that isn't possible unless you're hacked. So do the math on it. Um, if you see that they have, I don't know, let's say that you have 20 assignments and they have 60,000 points. There's no way that they got a 3,000 point assignment every single time. So if you're seeing that those numbers don't add up, go to that person's um, city. You should be able to pull up their, when you pull up their profile like this, you can travel, like let's say you hit visit, if I wanted to go visit this person's city, and I did want to mention this because somebody in my club was asking, if you are tra traveling and you're trying to view someone's capital map and it keeps sending you to their regional map, you scroll down and you click the airplane for whichever map it is that you want to view. Just thought I'd throw that out there. But you're going to want to go to the um, the player's city, take a screenshot, go to the SimCity Build It website, and send in... Um, Send that. Send in their name, and you're going to want to screenshot two things: the, this part, and then this part. Okay, because they can kind of identify it by that. Now, you used to be able to. Okay, so if you go here and you hit about no wrong one, hang on, help. This is your player ID in the bottom left corner, right? So you're going to hit report player. Go through the steps. There will be an attachment section where you can put a picture in. Tell them, you know, and you're also going to want to take screenshots of the scoreboard and which league you're in. And it's going to show, okay, you know, yeah, this person is in town league. There's no way could they could have possibly done this amount of points. They will go in and they will actually suspend that account and, and send them to a, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like something island, but it's meant for hackers. and. Um, and they won't be allowed to compete against players that aren't hacked. So all hackers go to this particular part of the game. Yeah, they could just make another account and hack another one. But, you know, it is, it is you know how annoying it is to have to rebuild an entire city, even if you are hacked. So definitely report them. And SimCity, when you put in your player ID, they will utilize that because they're going to use it to um, send you guys some sims cash if you ever have any issues with your game they'll they've sent me 250 cash every time i've ever had a complaint so they're pretty good about that but you do need to give them a couple of days um to get back to you but you can hit report player or contact us and that's how you get a hold of ea so i mean hang on just a sec let me catch up Okay. Um, somebody in my club had mentioned having a feeder city to 
make things that your other city doesn't. Yes, that can be beneficial. It really just depends on what your feeder city is meant for. I've discussed that in my part one video, so be sure to check that out. Um, but just be really, really careful about the advice that you guys are taking. I know if you guys are watching this video, it means that you've probably watched other people's videos. And um, I don't know, and maybe they've given you guys good advice. I don't know. I haven't personally watched a lot of them, but the ones that I have watched, I haven't been impressed with the advice that they've been giving. And if um, you guys have any questions about the advice that you're getting from, you know, other YouTubers or the internet or what have you, I am always willing to help you guys out. Um, you know, I, I can't always, you know, when I do my videos, I do them all off the top of my head. So sometimes I try to, I'm, I'm thinking about like making a list of things and that way I don't forget what I want to discuss. But if you guys have trouble with anything or you have questions or you have, um, requests on videos that you, you know, you want me to do on a specific topic. I mean, I'm willing to do it. I want to help you guys, you know, help you guys out. And that way you don't make the same mistakes that I and other players have made. I just don't want you guys getting wrong advice. And a lot of the advice that I see on these, um, these other channels, they're, they're not good. And I would hate to see you guys screw up, you know, weeks or months of work because you listened to them and they told you to upgrade homes as the easiest tasks and now you're level 34 with 100 storage and you're screwed, okay? So just be sure that you guys are doing your due diligence and doing your research and, you know, if you want to compare all of them and it take it as a grain of salt and just do what, you know, do you and see how it ends out. But I'm telling you, I've been playing this game for four years. I've made my mistakes. I've paid for them greatly. And I am just trying to help you guys out. When I made my club, as you know, the typing in this club is kind of a pain in the butt. So I would end up having new players. They rotate in all the time. And we're always looking for new players if you guys want to join. But they rotate in, and then they get bored, and then they leave the game. And, and I, I teach a lot of people, right? And I type, and I type. And I end up having to repeat myself constantly. So I decided that from now on, I'm just going to make videos. Because saying it out loud is so much easier than typing it up every time somebody new comes in and they ask, you know, how do you get your epics done so easy? Or how come I'm having such a hard time at this or that? And that is why I started the YouTube channel. I didn't, you know, start it to get so many views or so many followers. Not that I don't appreciate them. I'm absolutely, you know, the more people I can help, the better. Um, but I just wanted to help, you know, you guys out. If I only have 11 people that I helped out, well, then at least I helped those 11 people. So if you guys need my help with anything, please leave it in the comments. I am more than willing to help you guys. And that being said, I would like to get this video out there. I Right now, I don't know when my next video will be up just simply because I don't know what it is that I want to discuss. So if you guys have any ideas for me, please leave them in the comments. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Thanks.